Absolutely right. So double HEs, triple smokes, but a mid push from Phase looking likely. This is a very common strategy. Try and disrespect your opponents. Don't allow them to execute whatsoever. But it's actually a deal opening things up. Rain will neutralize the situation, but they're looking like they're in a bit of hot water here, Phase Jab. Well, contained to Banana now. They're going to have to get this kill, and Crikey will be taken out of the picture by KST. Customize that kill as Carrigan back of the site needs to get a couple done and wow, he's pinned, he's locked and they're jumping his way. Yeah, he should be done for here. I don't think he gets a single kill and that mid-aggression can be a double-edged sword. You either get all the frags very quickly or it can fall apart. Not necessarily over. We've got a Jill here in KST tucking themselves in. Does Carrigan check the corner? Maybe. Doesn't matter. He'll go down regardless. Takes him down to 15 points of health. A twist will spam the smoke. Fortunate not to get the kill there. The Jill just trying to tuck himself in. We're back to a two on two. Like I said, plenty of time, Chad. Could fall back to the other bomb site. Wherever they go, they can guarantee there'll be one man at most at yeah, the well, other bomb site. Rob's top mid here. This should be sealed right now. Look, 45 seconds left on the clock, sure, but Rob's under the porch, just ah. jumping on in. No trade potential there. The spacing was a little bit off. And yeah, easy, easy stuff there for FaZe. So 2-1, likely to be, well, 3-1. But is it required in a 5-4, and four, Chad? You have the man advantage. Carragher thinking better of it now. Probably needs to suggest there's some presence towards the top, maybe a flashbang over at this stage, but... Uh, not clear in the corners, simple stuff for Rain. Yeah, two big kills, even goes for the drop of the grenade right there. Kragan's gonna run into the orb, KST is gonna get one back, and... Well, it is a two-on-three situation, but continuing just to fight towards bottom of Banana here, Rain's gonna grab another, two more kills coming. Banana, and that's gonna lure Brokey forward, and it's the Dodo, he sat there the entire round so far, and Brokey oh. just steps right out and puts him in the grave, and here they go, walking to their demise. Ooh. Brokey will meet his maker, though. Four on three. Aris Dossi have a chance to actually answer back as well, but decides to fall back for the moment being, and uh, less than a minute remaining. They still have three smokes. KST will be holding towards Banana. They're actually in front of the smoke itself. So Rain, I think he goes down here, and indeed he will. A couple of peaks now have led us to a three versus three. Carrigan with no utility to speak of, and they're going to pounce on him. He needs to get one and drop off. He can't even do that. It's looking like a back-to-back -back round situation for FTW. The all-important kill towards the pool area. Low HP. A duel didn't stand a chance, but can KST rise to the occasion here? Has to find early damage. Bring it down to a one versus one early. Twist down to 15 points of health, but they know exactly where he is. His days are numbered here, but there's the all-important kill. One versus one now against oh. Rops, who's just out-positioned him. Got the AK-47 as well, but it all starts here. He spotted the boots. Now the player towards second middle. He'll check it out again. Carrigan should get his kill, no problem. There it is. The DS taken down, but the round potentially decided now. Rain with the smoke. The M4A1S. And unfortunately for him, he's actually smoked off himself, and time is of the essence. We have the halfway... Marker, and I think just trying to find a couple of kills, get a 20 bomb before the half ends, that yeah, might be something. Yeah, a bit of stat padding right here, Rain. Show us what you got. Really no time to rent the there round now. That's some crispy aim. The damage under a gill, not too bad. Mentality here, and KST does not nail that first shot. That's Dododo. Baited him with those dual elites, and he actually manages to step up here. Twist will be removed, but presumably will be dropped down. He gets himself a second frag, but Rain and Rops will be causing absolute chaos okay. on the A side. Well, there's two flashes for a Jill here. That's the key back into this round right now if you are FTW, but how potent are these post plants going to be? One towards Graveyard, one site, and floating around that boiler room is going to be Carrigan, but creeping through the smoke. Rain now, he's taking some fights, and it's going to be Rop just poking up his head from the graveyard and puts one in the dirt six feet under. Rain chimes in for one more, Ooh, but... Nice shot. Aradose, that is big on the USP, a one on three. This would be one way to get the fire started for FTW. So... He tries to feign out the defuse. Carrigan not taking the bait whatsoever. And now he's in a lot of trouble, but the oh! position is not great from Carrigan. It's a pre fire. No time. But no time. You're dead on there, Chad. To be honest, he's towards Emo, though. It can be good for a couple. Rob, so not going to miss that. He spotted the shoulder of the Diaz. That's the rifle removed. And unless you're hitting that shot straight away, it's unlikely you get much more going. And indeed, Carrigan confirms it. Rob's holding the flanks and just looking to farm kills. I think he goes down eventually. Indeed, he does. And uh, there we have it, a Jill. The Dodo will save the M4, potentially an AK-47. Well, it spoke too soon. Just the M4 available here. So another click, more people, more work, you know? That's... Yeah, well, that's one thing that I like to do, is give everybody else more work. <laughs> save myself that little venture. It's the Dodo, there's the first. Brokey down, flash no forward. Yeah, you're right, but let's see. Can he at least make some magic happen here? This would be miraculous, but Rain finishes Inferno in style. 
well there's that kit so if they are able to get the smoke on the bomb and get on yeah. top of it might get a little bit chaotic here they still have five kills to find it would have to be a bit of uh, an indie defuse we'll see which kills come in first it looks like brokey will be opening oh. things up oh. with a couple make it a triple and that's going to be the round tied up nicely for phase clan didn't have to work too hard for it in the end but a duel making things interesting not out of it completely just if he gets a third kill you never know but there it is rain will confirm the round and brokey what another barn burner he just had that chat three kills very confident very calm and uh they collect yeah they the first pistol clicks a look long nope they do six twists will enable the bomb to be planted this one not done yet but they can find a couple kills quickly you never know kerrigan knows he has to be active here can't just sit back on the bomb side if he gets the double kill i would say they stand a real chance but not meant to be three versus one twists remove from the action but remember no kits enables him to go towards long but it's just not planted for him in any sense well the question is did he hit Anadosa, who's just made it around the world twist has caught a glimmer right here they're gonna think long's clear this is all gonna come down to timing the bomb halfway gone they they've only it. tapped it they right now it. they need to get stuck on this they don't expect twist to be long this is gonna be a masterful clutch all he needs they to do it. is knock it off and it's not gonna be the case it's so unfortunate he just walks in front of him yeah and he might do oh the timing is gonna be savage for someone here i think twist is getting for free no okay all right that's I didn't something that to work all. with well they know it has to be b now starting to barrel in the past three members of phase yeah they've only got the mp9s and the masses this could be problematic we'll see aras dosse waiting towards heaven with the rest of the rifles agile will be joining him they've got he's ready and waiting as well is this where phase get back into the round good smoke towards shaw but a better shot Rops takes bullets to the face and uh, presumably that's the round done certainly so now broken is looking to cause damage maybe get a plant down it's a bit crazy one on five wouldn't it the first was good they're running him down and there you go they could pick up a secondary orb if they yeah and he's been doing very well in these openings this time ksc oh the best fragger so far is absolutely wrecked by the p250 sidearm of brokey stadodo looking for a double kill here can't quite find it and still a winnable round i said that with baited breath but the diaz has a decent position actually he's coming in from the monster tunnel he has no kit, but i dare say that's a freebie and uh indeed it is so unfortunately though he does know exactly where he is now brokey doesn't miss many, but he is baited out. He'll have to fall back out. Say advantage to DS now. He picks up the kit, Oh, Jack. look how quick. Look how far away Brokey got. Can pivot all the way around. This is really well thought out from Brokey. Using that smoke front sight in his favor. The DS has no oh, idea that he's already plan. pivot. What are you meant to do now? The, yeah. He has no idea that Brokey's gotten this far away. It was instant. Through the smoke, into the water. And now all the way around to the heavens. He just has to make sure he peeks in time and... Secure. <laughs> there it is. To look up first. Look at me before I strike you down, boy. Uh, up and over the bombardment is coming their way more flames at the feet there's nowhere safe to stand as he's showing a little bit of that prowess with the util backside mollied as well and brokey opens up the account last round closes it this round opens it all the accounts are brokey's right now it's full rain jumps into the dieses here we go stadota looking for an opening down towards connector three two split of the phase offense is they want to creep forward through this smoke. Of course they do. Carrigan with a oh, gimmick, dear. and it's going to work. Sedota has been caught off guard more often than he'd like to admit. Nice little flick there towards Shaw. We saw Rops dismantling the Shaw push. But speaking of which, the round not done yet by any stretch of the imagination. But this shot straight in the buttocks of KST there, and it's going to be back to a three on two. And Aristotle needs at least one kill here. Actually looks primed to potentially get it here, but... It's a lot of damage, oh. and even more so, he gets absolutely smacked. The dual elites and Rain stepping up to the challenge there towards middle, spots a couple of them, decides to fall back towards the bathrooms, and uh, the first kill will be coming in momentarily. It's actually a headshot towards Rain. He'll be done for. Run! How's he got away with that? I have no idea. If he gets one kill here, that will be remarkable. But speaking of one kill, Brokey will open things up, but it's actually advantage for now towards FPW, but here Come it on. comes, mowing them down here. Still a chance, though, for now. Two versus one and twist. Needs to be careful not to give this one up. But said anything. But says Carrigan will close things out there. Not a very strategic. Might have given away his spot there. He's just looking for any mistakes. And the problem is he's got a scope up as well as soon as he spots that little head. And now he knows he's been spotted, I believe. So in he goes. And Rain more than happy to oblige. Here we go. Rain's already here, though. This, the, the, he'd have to hit a crazy shot. Rain would have to give away his position completely. Back turned, backpedaling into the side, and headshot mid air. That's 16 to 4. The scores on the door don't lie. Phaser in good form. They absolutely are. They look like they're having a lot of fun out there.